So hi guys and welcome back to another video. It's that time of month again. It's uh, the 1st of June. So today I'm doing a video of all the films I watched in May. So let's get into it. Okay, well, the first thing that I watched this month would have to be uh, this film right here. I haven't seen it for two years, so I gave it a rewatch and it was really good. Soul. Okay, I haven't watched this for like two years. Since March two years ago. I gave it a rewatch and I was like, wow, this is amazing. And I watched it in 4K, so it was gorgeous. Stunningly beautiful. And next up, we have a, a DreamWorks animated film here, which I actually haven't seen yet. So I was like, uh, wanted to watch a movie that night. So I watched it, I was like, wow, that was really good. Uh, Megamind. Okay, some of you might get mad at me for never seeing this before. I watched it, and it was actually really good, really funny, and amazing film. It was probably really good. Okay, and next up, we have a, another film here that was a massive part of my childhood, which I haven't seen for so many years. I watched it, I was like, wow, the nostalgia. I haven't seen it for years. Horton Hears a Who. Yeah, I haven't seen it for years, and it gave me so much nostalgia, and it was amazing. I haven't seen it in that long. And if you guys haven't seen it for that year, many years, or if you used to watch it as a kid, I recommend re-watching it. And next up, we, I did a movie review about this one. Uh, I don't remember if I saw it as a kid or not. The same goes for the sequel. Happy Feet. Yeah, when I was watching this, I was like, wow, that was really good. Especially the CGI on the penguins. That was stunning. Especially how he was, like, doing that uh, thing with his uh, feet. But I did read on news that somewhere they made a rip-off with this called Tappy Toes. But that sounds trash. So I'm probably not going to watch that. Yeah, but still, it was... Great movie, liked it. And then speaking of Happy Feet, I also watched the sequel, Happy Feet 2. I mean, I actually found this one nearly as good as the first one. I don't know why, but for some reason, whenever I watch the first one, I think it's good. But whenever I watch the second one, it almost feels better than the first one. It feels like an easy watch for me. The first one feels like a normal watch, but the sequels feel like easy watches. I don't know why it just does. So that was Happy Feet 2. And then next up, we have um, uh, a Disney animated film here, which I've never seen before. So I wanted to watch a film and then I watched it. Brother Bear, the first one, Aaron Blaze. And it was such a good film. Amazing. And I'm surprised at how the music had some of uh, Colin, you know, Phil Collins in it. Uh, it was just stunning movie. I loved it a lot. And then... Uh, Oh wait, and one more thing I forgot to mention. It was also uh, set around the Ice Age at the time. Really good. It had a lot of uh, animals like that, like mammoths, all that stuff. And when I watched it, it reminded me of Ice Age, just not as good, I don't think. And then next up, we have a, a film which I went to see in the local cinema this month. And the film would have to be the new Tom Hanks musical film, Elvis. Yeah, I actually thought it was such a good movie. I loved it. I mean, it was like a nearly three hour film, but I sat through the whole thing and I actually really enjoyed it. It was so good. Such a stunning film. And then uh, speaking of Brother Bear, I also uh, watched the sequel. <coughs> Sorry. And then uh, a few days after watching the first one, it was so good. I watched the sequel and I read some reviews online and the sequel was actually good than the first one. I mean, I actually uh, put this one in my uh, top five Disney animated sequels. I mean, it's not as good as the ones in my top three, I don't think. No way. But still, it was such a good film. <clears throat> and then this is the most recent film, which I had done a movie review on. And it was actually pretty creepy as well. Caroline. Yeah, this is one of those Leica films which I haven't seen yet. So it's got that nice lenticular. Uh, I watched the film in 3D as well. Quite a few pop-out moments, but... If you've got young kids, or if any of you guys are young, I wouldn't recommend watching this. It was so creepy. That's why I'm right there. The buttons in their eyes. Creepy as hell. And then next up, we have a, a Pixar film here, which was one of my favourites growing up. Toy Story 2. Alright, look, uh, a few weeks, no, a few days ago, I did my uh, first nine-hour shift at work, and I was absolutely knackered, so I just wanted to watch something, so I decided to watch this. And I know I said many times that uh, Finding Dory was my favourite Pixar film, but I think I might have changed my mind back. This is now my favourite, Dory's my second. 
Well, the reason why? Look, I'm sorry I'm confusing you, but I have a reason. I grew up with this film. I watched it every day as a kid. I had all the toys and stuff, and we're just still in the attic. <coughs> and I even have the films on VHS as well, the first two. But look, I just love this movie so much. I think Dory's now my second, and this counts as my favourite Pixar movie. So that should be remembered. Okay, now we have one more film here. This isn't actually my third favourite Pixar film. Okay, uh, and two days ago, I uh, went to my local cinema to watch a screen of this for the 25th anniversary, and it was so fun, I loved it. Finding Nemo. What an amazing film. I absolutely love Finding Nemo. For me, it's just amazing. I love everything about this film. It's just amazing. And it was actually my idea to come up with the screening for the 25th anniversary. For those of you who live near me and if you've been seeing those posters, that was me who designed the poster and me who thought of the idea. And I thought it was actually a pretty good idea as well. But yeah, it's fantastic. So Find Nemo, that was a great film to watch at the cinema. So there we go. That is all the films that I had watched in May this month. And I'll be back again this time next month to talk about all the films that I had seen in June. So I'll see you guys again soon for another video. Bye.